Well, Texas is seeing a massive surge in COVID-19 cases, and now Governor Greg Abbott has put a hold on elective surgeries in some counties in an effort to make sure enough beds are available. But are we seeing the same thing here in Central Texas? Six News reporter Andrew Moore has the details. So in Bell County, Judge David Blackburn just told reporters yesterday hospital bed capacity was actually his top concern. But what does that mean for the local area and how will it affect services? Well, we dug into that today. Judge Blackburn told us in an email today he has been in contact with our local health care providers. And while there is some level of concern about bed space, they have not indicated that level of concern rises to the need of prohibiting elective procedures at this time. Scott and White, the largest private health care provider in the area, would not explain the situation to us today, so we had to track down the numbers on bed availability ourselves. State data shows that general hospitals in our local trauma service area have 212 beds available. At the same time, in Bell County, only 15 COVID-19 patients are hospitalized, so the numbers don't seem so serious. However, 11 of those patients were in the ICU as of yesterday, and that leaves the area with only 12 open ICU beds as of right now. That could be a problem. So while hospitals have not told us of their concerns, Judge Blackburn has gotten a different answer. I also asked that institution if there were concerns about hospital capacity and their ability to continue to operate business as usual. The answer was yes, we do have concerns about hospital capacity. And at the same time, nearly 500 Texas physicians have signed a letter to the state of Texas officials asking for more local controls to manage the spread of the virus. That letter asks the state to consider, does Texas have enough physicians, advanced practice care providers, nurses, respiratory therapists, and health care providers to take care of all these patients? It then urges the state to allow local governments to set more of their own safety policies. The good news is over in McLennan County, there does not seem to be a bed capacity issue at this time. We're told local hospitals have ample beds to handle the situation thus far. Andrew Moore, Six News. All right, thanks, Andrew. Now, Six News also found out that the highest number of cases were occurring in people ages 20 to 29.